Hey guys, Jacob here from Seven Scoop. With summer fast approaching, our slithery neighbours will be coming out to play. So I had a chat with the Sunshine Coast snake catcher to see what we should be looking out for in the coming months. Let's see what he said. We're a 24 hour a day, seven days a week service, a snake relocation and reptile relocation service here on the sunny coast. And we basically cover everywhere from Noosa all the way down to sort of Deception Bay and then all the way out to past Millennium, Montville, Kilcoy, all that sort of area. So people, when they have a snake in their yard or they have a snake in their house or they want a roof inspection or just want us to come out and have a look for snakes, um, that's what we do. We come out and we relocate them and, and let them go into some awesome bushland like we've got behind us. If you're in close contact with a snake, if just, you know, just say from you to me away, a couple of metres away from a snake, first thing to do is just to move away. Back away slowly, once you're safe distance away, just get out of there. And if you do have a snake in your backyard, the first things to do is to get obviously the kids inside, get any pets inside. You know, you guys stay inside and um, try and keep an eye on it from inside. Give us a call and we'll come straight out. Now, if you are bit by a snake, the best thing to do is to treat every snake as venomous and do the appropriate first aid, which includes the pressure bandage and calling uh, to below and get the ambulance to come straight to you. Don't go to the ambulance, wait for the ambulance to come to you. And that's, yeah, that's the best thing to do because a lot of people will, will say, you know, I think it's a tree snake, it should be right. But um, I had one the other day where a lady uh, had a snake bite her dog and she gave me a call an hour later thinking that it was just a tree snake. She sent me a picture and it was an Eastern Brown. So the second most venomous snake in the world. So if you don't know what the snake is, um, even if you're nearly 100% sure, just treat it as venomous. And if there is a bite, definitely get that pressure bandage on it. This snake we got here, uh, this is a red belly black snake. Um, nowhere near as venomous as say your eastern brown which is also found here but they are considered dangerously venomous and obviously a bite from one of these guys, you know, put the pressure bandage on and get an ambulance straight to you. But this guy here, he was in a home in Sippy Downs um, and we're currently in Sippy Downs with some nice bushland behind us so with our permit we have to release them reasonably close by. Um, in some appropriate bushland away from homes and, and main roads and that sort of thing. So this guy was hanging out in the backyard of a family's home. Now they had young kids and dogs and all sorts of stuff. And basically, uh, she's had a red belly there before in this particular spot. She had a heap of pot plants and stuff um, in that area and he was just hiding, hiding behind it. So but yeah, basically we, I was able to catch him eventually after moving the pot plants and stuff out of the road. So what we'll do now is we'll get him out and we'll release him. I'll see if you'll enable me to tail him out just so we can have a quick look before the release. There he comes. And there he is. So I'm just going to let him go in this bushland just here. off he goes. This is one of the best parts of the relocation too, you know, seeing the snakes go back into the bush uh, to keep on living their lives. So, you know, the customers are, are happy and the snake's happy as well.